What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Overtime coming to you from the Archery Lab. Today's episode, we're going to talk about how we go from this to this out of this. That's right, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, using daisy chains, I'm setting up my sticks for my stand and I mentioned I'll go ahead and show you guys later on how I do that. Stay tuned and one of the next episodes I'll be showing you is how I make my AM steels, how I judge the length and where I get my AM steel rope from. Well, today is the day I go ahead and show you how I take 764 days AM steel rope and turn it into a six and a half to seven foot daisy chain. Long enough to reach around any tree I'm going to get into, safe enough and strong enough to hold my weight and safe enough to get up the tree, no problem every time. All right, guys, that being said, let's get into this episode. So, first thing I do is I get it measured out to the length I want. So, for me, I always think about whatever I can, I'm only going to go to a tree as long as I can reach around and grab my hand, especially with daisy chains because it's a lot harder throw around but with the buckle strap that's about as long as it is anyway for me I have a 79 and 3 fourths reach wingspan so I can get kind of around big trees and loop it and catch so how I measure that is I take it out straight across my chest so the end of my finger into my fingertips on both sides fold it down go all the way back out to the end and then I'll go from that end and I'll add a couple more inches to it because as we I got a knot going on here, but as we loop these together and splice them together, we're going to lose a little bit of cord. So there we go, got a couple more inches added to it. Go a little bit further just in case. So we go ahead and cut that here. A good a solid cut because we got to splice it in something here in a second. All right, take my last little piece. I'll use this for something DIY later on. But now, I got to pull it out to where I want. I want this end about an inch shorter or longer or shorter, and I'll show you why. We get to the end of this. So I get it all the way out. So the point is going to be crimp it. So if I drop, I know exactly where the loop is going to go. Like I almost just did there. Take it. Now I need I need two splicing tools. So I got this kit. I actually posted it in the link below. I found this kit on Amazon. Just, it came with several different options, but these are two that fit this one best. So, make sure my end is put together. Take it and go right through. And the splicing tool inside has threads. So, once you get it on, you just screw it down. That'll help lock it on tight to that cord. To the paracord. Boom. And hang. He's saying paracord. And still, excuse me. Do the same thing for this one. Get that in started. And twist it on down. Alright, so now we got both my cords hanging and dangling. Now, got my center loop here. Now how I figure out how big I wanted to go around the eye. Now I've done it before, I just had to stick on the table. I kept checking over that to make sure it was good. But after a while, I've done this a couple years now, I figured out once it's done, I can get my thumb in. I can get right over the knuckle joint of my thumb. So, get over there. I'll leave just a little bit of space on the end. What I do is I figure out I measure it from the line on my thumb here and a smidgen over the edge of my thumb. So, from there, right here, that's where I'm going to splice them. So, take them, keep them pinched together. Now, to make these daisy chains, they're pretty simple. 
jig. It takes about 45, 50 minutes, but it's pretty simple. But I know is take this, take the one splicing tool, go right to where my point was. I push the am still together. And you see right there, it opens up. Take the splicing tool and go right through that hole. Pull it all the way through. Boom, right back to round one where I get my thumb through. Boom, I know that's gonna go around, that's gonna stay tight. Now from there, the next spot, I'm gonna take the other jig and go right below where this one goes. So I mark it with my thumbnail. I slide it up, go right back there, pinch it again. And it comes open. Get this other one out of the way. I usually I do this on a bigger table, open table, in a dining room table, when I'm watching TV or in a coffee table, whatever it is. But I was down in the lab today. I figured, you know what? It's about time. We go ahead and record this video. So I got the space, I got time. So let's go ahead and do it. Oh, I got these cords mixed up. Now you can tell when you mess up, like I just did, I didn't mess up, but I had the same cord, or not the same cord, but the opposite cord going through the hole. So when I got here, it would have had an extra string going through. As you see right there, you pull it tight, and I got my eye, get my thumb through there. I know it'll fit right over my eye hole. Pull it tight, and there we go. Now, I never actually do the first, uh, I say about, 20 20 24 inches why because me as a hunter being a bigger guy i'll never actually go around a tree this small i'll never hang a tree that small so i go to the smallest tree that i will go up eyeballing thinking i would <clears throat> even right there that's close right about there about the smallest tree i will go up and I'll start tying my loops right here. So the same thing. I get my cords all stretched out. Come here. Find the first spot. Pinch it. Take the opposite tool. Through that hole. Pull that through the hole. All the way into the quarters back to being straight. Now I go to the next spot, same thing, right below it. Pinch it. Grab my other tool. Pull it through. Pull them down together. Just like that. Now it's tight. And I go to the next one. Same thing. Fill them in. Measure a little bit over. Get my space. Separate them. It's a real simple thing. It's very repetitive. It takes time. So. If you're not a very patient person, you don't like doing things over and over, the same thing over and over, you might want to find somebody online that can do this for you. There are people out there that do it <clears throat> for people and they sell them. <clears throat> but I myself, I'm the type of person I like doing things itself. And sometimes I do it myself once and I just find somebody to do it the rest. But I know in the future I can do it. And that's just my mindset as a person I like to do it all myself. Which is why we call ourselves DIYers. Pull it through. Boom. Next eyelid. Go right down to the next one. Same thing. Around the thumb. Space it. Pinch it. 
Make sure I got the right set. time I stopped to record and we started back now we're down here at the bottom I'll show you guys where we're gonna splice it so we got maybe one more loop here maybe two let's see place that one see as you get down to the end and of course start running short it's a little harder to splice these through each other. But it's possible. So if this last one, we're just going to, actually, you know what, I'm going to stop right here. So what I'm going to do, since this is so short, I'm going to go ahead and cut this end off. I right, can do that one at full length, so we can shimmy through there. So, now we're at the end. I put one, just one jig in, back on. I'm gonna take this in here. I'm gonna wedge this. Actually, no, we're gonna take it off just to get this wedge in there. I'm gonna take this one in here. I'm gonna wedge it up all the way through the top. Oh, not the side. I'm gonna go all the way through the middle. Wedge it when you get all the cord around the outside. I'm gonna push it all the way up to the Little round part so it come through easier. Now I'm take it, thread it back on here. That's a little bit tough. Once we get that threaded back on there, I'm gonna take it. And we slide it right through that hole. All the way up. Pull it. Stand that all the way out over. Now we got my loop tied through here. It's not going to come undone. That's tight. Ah. So this amp still holds up to 1,500 pounds. No problem. So now instead of leaving that piece sticking out the end, Go ahead and put it down, and there we go. Right now, still have to reach my arms a little bit longer, just how I want it. I said, I'm not gonna really go around a tree this small, but if I have to, I can. I usually start around here, and I go all the way out to the end. Loop around, hook it, cinch down, and you're ready to go. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pretty simple task. Um, if you want to do it yourself, I'll order my rope from uh, Knots and Ropes. I'll put that link in the description as well so you guys know where you can find the rope. Uh, I'll put where I found the jig tools. 
and uh all stuff to get the amp seal down to your liking whatever it is that you like <clears throat> so with that being said this episode is short but kind of long because i have to take you through the process but it's really not meant to be this long um we're three weeks out from getting to the tree stand ladies and gentlemen i don't know where we'll be when you guys see this video but right now when i'm doing this we're three weeks out from hunting season uh we got kentucky opener in two weeks i don't think i'm going to make that being a fight camp and also my wife's birthday is on the opening weekend of uh kentucky season every year so unfortunately me i don't think i'm going to be able to make that opening weekend for quite some time until she gets tired of me but uh yeah with that being said don't forget if you like this content make sure you hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up leave a comment if you don't like it leave a thumbs down stay tuned for the giveaways remember we got that xop evo vanish coming very soon we got the bomar grip tape nose button we got a vapor trail rest we got a soakerize uh stabilizer I believe every partner I have is offered something. We got a lot of things to give away. The shade is packed with boxes. I still got stuff on the porch and at the back door. So, with that being said, we're going to sign out as always. Love. Peace. Afro Grease. Peace.